Well, it's happened again. Another day, another case of Minecraft YouTubers fighting with each other. It really has just become a norm at this point. So, the other day, a YouTuber named Sipover released a video titled Wild Minecraft Was So Much Better. Then, a little bit later, a YouTuber named Gurge released a video titled Sipover's Nostalgia Bait Video Is Horrible. And in this case, both YouTubers have some pretty major faults here, so I'm going to be starting with Gurge and then moving on to Sipover. So, essentially, Gurge opens his video by just insulting a bunch of other YouTubers for having different tastes than him. He shows their video thumbnails, but he's not even respectful enough to mention their names. So they were Dialco, Diazel, and Zenith JJ, and he also later on goes to attack the Geek Factor. So, right off the bat, it's very clear that Gurge has some uh, issues of his own. And that's that he can't stand people having different opinions or preferences than him. Which is really bad for a content creator. If you want to get into content creation, something that you really need to accept and come to terms with is that people are going to like different things than you sometimes. And that's okay. That's a reality that you need to accept. And clearly, Gurge hasn't. And what's even worse is that he seems to think himself superior to these other YouTubers, calling them stupid and other insults. Again, for making videos talking about Minecraft, which is the exact thing that he's doing in that video. And the reality is that old Minecraft does do some things better than modern Minecraft. They both have their strengths. Beta Minecraft was much more difficult as a survival game. As I've recently talked about, you didn't have things like sprinting, shields, even beds. And of course, no structures or villages. You were all alone. And it really was your fight for survival and going from being weak to prospering. Meanwhile, modern Minecraft has the strength of having just much more options and much more content for players. There is a lot more to see. And Gurge clearly hasn't accepted that reality either. Gurge also makes another mistake where he says that the version that Sipover is comparing with modern Minecraft is 1.8 beta. I guess Gurge just wasn't listening because Sipover did say he was comparing it with Beta 1.7.3. So and that leads to a bunch of other misinformation that Gurge spreads about what was in the version because, again, he thought that Sipover was talking about a different version. And then again, he also does attack actual good critiques like the Geek Factors, so I don't know what his problem is there. Either he didn't actually watch the critiques, or didn't actually listen, or just can't be convinced for some reason because he thinks he's always right. I'm not sure. Anyway, then Gurge later on makes the big uh, no-no statement that building is the entire point of Minecraft. Like, I'm not exaggerating, that is practically word for word what he says. So, obviously, he doesn't understand the importance and uniqueness of Minecraft and how its core aspects work. I have a whole video on that, I'm not gonna explain it again here. But basically, what you need to know is building is one of Minecraft's few core aspects, one that, if you take it away, you're not talking about Minecraft anymore. But it's not the only one. No core aspect is the entire point of Minecraft. And that includes building. And then he goes on to personally attack Sipover's building skills and competence. Which, watching it really just had me thinking, like, what's wrong with you? That's so unprofessional. Not to mention, extremely immature, he's acting like a toddler. And it also doesn't really help to prove his point or counteract Sipover's points at all. But then again, it seems like that might just be his whole YouTube personality, I'm not sure. 
And then Gers just makes up this whole entire thing that he repeatedly goes back to throughout the video about Sip over believing that the entire point of the game is to kill the Ender Dragon, when Sip over never says that. He mentions one time that there is a very clear progression path, and that's true, that's a fact, you can't refute that. But he was never saying that killing the Ender Dragon was the entire point of the game. Gers just seemingly made that up, probably likely to make Sipover seem like a dumber and worse person. Again, because just as like we talked about with the Hayes video, that can help to make their point seem more true and also give more views in turn. Sipover never seemed to be talking about things distracting you from beating the Ender Dragon. What he seemed to think that features were distracting from was the player's own creativity and the sandbox to make their own path and do what they want. But Sipover also portrays that kind of poorly, so let's get into Sipover's problems now. Okay, so first off, Sipover uses some pretty annoying sound effects at times, and they make it really hard to take him seriously, and he's clearly making this as a video where he wants to be taken seriously. Now, as for the video being nostalgia bait, I would say the thumbnail is definitely trying to appeal to people's nostalgia bias, but I don't know if you could classify the whole thing as nostalgia bait, because he makes some relevant points. Again, because Minecraft beta does do some things better than modern Minecraft does. But Sipover also does a pretty bad job of getting some of these points across at times. Like, for example, with the villager trading where he has four stacks of emeralds and a max level villager just on hand. Though villager trading could definitely use a rework. The other thing is with the sprinting, he basically uses just an open field to show it. And with only zombies, like, realistically, you would have skeletons in there shooting at you too. And again, no shields to block their arrows, so it would be more challenging. And you're not always going to be in an open field. Say you're in a winding forest, it could be pretty difficult to escape those mobs without sprinting. So he just kind of used a bad setting to get that point across, and then Gurge uses an even worse one that is literally just a completely open field. Now, as for Minecraft having fewer features and blocks in its beta days, that's just a preference, right? Some people might prefer that simplicity, others might not. Again, it's old Minecraft does do simplicity better, forcing you to be as creative as possible with few building blocks, but Minecraft now has more options. Gurge once again attacks him for getting enjoyment out of that simplicity because Gurge himself doesn't. As for the part about the YouTubers, he makes some good points there too that Modern Minecraft YouTube, and just modern YouTube in general, more has been about putting on a big show and trying to impress the audience than actually connecting with them. That is a valid criticism. Minecraft also becoming a bit more corporate, also a fairly valid criticism. Though there is a point in the video where he seemingly phrases it like having more structures and biomes is a bad thing. There's not really any harm that comes from having a cherry forest, though. Having these sort of random and unrelated features, they aren't necessarily harmful on their own. It's just that there are more important things that we could be getting instead. But again, Sipover doesn't do a very good job of arguing that. In fact, in general, throughout the video, it seems like he's always trying to explain things in as few words as possible, and as a result, he just often makes his points in a not very well-expressed way, sometimes not using words at all, like with the villager trading, just showing footage, and not really bothering to explain why that's a problem. And this might be because, well, 
Zipover's video is essentially a bunch of criticisms that have already been made by other YouTubers. As I've said before in one of my recent videos, there's not that much point in making a video essay style video if you're just going to say something that someone already said. It's possible that Zipover didn't see these other videos, but I doubt that scene as some of them have been very popular. So it looks like what he tried to do is take those sort of complex criticisms and just dumb them down and try and make them simpler for a wider audience and add in those awful sound effects. So now to conclude things, Zipover's video definitely wasn't great. If you want a better video critiquing modern versus old Minecraft, I would recommend the Geek Factors, which is one of the many that Gurge attacks, or you could watch White Light's Another Serious Critique of Minecraft, which for some reason Gurge doesn't include, I guess because White Light is a fairly popular content creator who's relatively well-respected, so Gurge was maybe just afraid to attack him because he mostly was just attacking smaller YouTubers, of course with the exception of Sipover. But still, his video was okay, it's just not one I would really recommend. But also, I definitely wouldn't say that Gurge totally cooked him like some people are saying. Honestly, Gurge's video might have been even worse. It was definitely a lot more toxic and negative. I also wouldn't say Sipover's video was one of the worst nostalgia bait videos ever created. Trust me, there are definitely worse. But anyway, to wrap this all up, Gurge definitely overreacted and really needs to understand that people are going to have different preferences than him. He also should maybe work on his understanding of Minecraft as a game a little bit. And Sipover should definitely go about making his points clearer and being more understanding of people who prefer all of the options that modern Minecraft has. So, yep, that does it. I really only covered this because of high demand, but also once I watched the videos, I figured it was something probably worth covering. So, uh... Let me know if you guys want me to keep making these types of videos covering fights going on between people in the Minecraft community. Uh, what really lets me know that you guys like this kind of content is liking and subscribing, as shameless as it sounds. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Who knows, maybe in a few days we'll have another pair of Minecraft YouTubers at each other's throats. It seems pretty common now for some reason. So, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed.